Hey, Steven, this is Parker from Ralph Me. Are you there? Hi, Parker. How's it going today? I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah, thanks for jumping on real quick. Um, happy to help if I can. Um, why don't you tell me kind of what's going on or what kind of questions you have? Yeah, definitely. Um, so I have a, I have a growing business uh, and we service uh, houses and bills, buildings uh, in a, uh, in a radius, radius around us. And uh, I have a couple new clients that I'm looking to take on and I want to make sure that um, you know, it's going to be profitable for us to add on these new clients, even though they are uh, much further away. Uh, and I was hoping to see if Route for Me can uh, help out with that. Yeah, sure. Um, why don't I just jump in and show you? Can you see my screen? Yep, I sure can. Perfect. All right, I'm just at our uh, home page, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. So I'm actually logged in, so it just goes to my account home. Um, yeah, I think what you're going to need to use or uh, be able to use is a feature we call the address book. So the address book uh, can be displayed as a list or a map. So it doesn't really matter what I put in there um, or when I enter customers into the address book. Uh, they'll show up on the list as well as the map. So um, I'll just show you the list real quick. Um, and let's go ahead and pretend like we're going to add a customer in here. So let's go ahead and click File. Let's say one of those customers comes comes up, and you don't maybe you probably don't know where every single address is. You know if you have a larger territory, uh, but you just click, click File, Add Address, and type in their alias, uh, location details, um, obviously their address, and as soon as you enter this address, it will show up on the map in the address book. Um, you with me so far, or any questions? Yeah, cool. So I so I could uh, put in a new address, call it a new location, and even uh, color it something uh, so yeah. it's easier to show up on the map. Yeah. Yeah, you can even go as far as to um, put in some custom data. So you could say, hey, I want to put in revenue, right? So yeah. let's go ahead and put in some revenue. And so maybe this customer, you kind of know that they're going to represent a certain amount of revenue. So whatever it is, you can put that in, and maybe that's, you know, per stop or maybe it's you know this much per stop I don't know whatever the figure is so you could you can put in custom data like that and I'll kind of explain that later but basically you could see what it would be like to add them to a route and see what kind of how that would change the revenue uh, and compare that to your costs and your profit so you might even have you know uh, the cost of servicing this um, or you know the cost you know cost of goods sold um, you might even have um, you know, maintenance or hourly costs or anything like that. Um, so you can put all those figures in, and route for me will return and say, hey, if you add this to this route, it will change the entire route's uh, numbers. So you might you might be profitable, you might not be, um, but you'll at least be able to know if you are or aren't. Does that make sense? Yep, that makes sense. I would love to be able to see it on the map. Too. Yeah. Really? Okay, sure. So, like, uh, I'll just show you an example. Um, yeah. So let's go over the map. So I've got a few pinpoints on the map. Um, I've got a few territories built. Always have a service. So this is um, what you'll see as soon as you enter uh, an address into the address book, or a customer, or a prospective customer. Um, you'll see that okay, we've got them as pinpoints on the map. And you can change the pinpoint icon or colors as you saw. Um, you know, this is you know the headquarters, for example. So this is where our trucks leave from um, and our drivers leave from here. But if you say, hey, normally I have a, a certain service area. I want to see what that service area is. You can just you know, draw a circle real quick and say, okay, here's, here's the service area. And so if a new customer comes in, you can see the radius of this circle is 92.3 miles. Um, and you can save these as a territory. So um, I just have one here. Here's my, you know, saved territory, which is a service area. I can see I've got 63 in here, and um, you can also right-click on it and set the radius. So if you wanted to change the radius, this is a hundred square miles right here. So if you said, hey, I want to change that to 110, and click OK, and it's going to boost it out a little bit. You can see that this one address over here. So like, let's pretend that that was your customer or prospective customer who called in, or even an existing customer, and you say. You know, that, that guy's kind of way out there. Um, he's not within even a 110-mile radius. That might not make sense to even provide them service. So that customer could actually be costing you money, um, which is, you know, 
not good unless you're saying, hey, I really want to, maybe I need to move into the Nashville area and start getting some customer accounts here or get, you know, three to five and add a new driver or a truck or something like that. So um, that's one way to do it. I mean, you can even see real quick, is he within a 125 mile radius? Let's boost that up real quick. Oh, just barely. Just barely. Right uh, at the yep, tip there. Just barely. So, yeah. And again, you can change this so you can kind of pull it back down. It tells you the radius, change it very quickly. Um, and for example, you might say, hey, here's, you know, here's my territory, I can build it. Um, you might have, you know, individual territories built where it's like, okay, I have a territory, I know that I service these, maybe it's per zip code, I'm, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of our customers, you know, operate per zip code, so they'll basically draw, you know, the territories. And, you know, if you get an, uh, if you add an address, for example, I'll just add one real quick. Um, and it's way out here, you might say, look, I don't have anything near there. Um, I just really can't service that. That doesn't make sense. Um, sorry, we really can't do business. Um, you know, so you can analyze your existing customers. And just like I said, you might have a customer who, if you go in and you see this kind of outlier, uh, you can go in and see what kind of revenue they have. So this, this represents this much. You can kind of see um, how profitable your routes are once you build them. Uh, see the revenue that is created uh, either by a new customer if you're going to add them to a route or add them into a territory, for example, and plan a route that way. Um, and it's going to give you all those numbers, so you'll really easily be able to see that. So does that help? I mean, does... Yeah, that definitely helps quite a bit, uh, especially if I could um, look at adding a new driver in here in the software and seeing if that would uh, make sense for me to move into the Nashville area. Um, it's uh, definitely something that could help me with finding that information out, which is great. Yeah, I mean, and it depends on your business, right? But I mean, if you've got customers there, you you know, you the likelihood that you have other customers nearby, you know, I've had um, customers who say, yeah, we've used this as an expansion tool because we can now see where our customers are on a map, and when we can't service someone, we just keep their information. A lot of times they want to switch anyway, so we just say, hey, let us get, let us build up in that area, and you might need to just hire another driver until you know maybe you, you set up another. Um, you know, headquarters out of Nashville, so you can actually expand your business. And you should be able, using Route for Me, obviously, to optimize your routes. So you might even be able to optimize your routes and open up a new territory. Um, that driver might have to drive a little bit further, um, but you should be able to to um, to do so. So, yeah, great. Glad we could help. Um, any other questions, or is this going to help? Uh, no, you pretty much covered it. Thank you very much. All right, great. If you have any other questions, just reach out to um, reach out to our support. Reach out to us anytime. We're always happy to help. Um, just click the help button, and we'll be there for you. Thanks, Stephen. Great. Thanks.